The House of Tossing, Ron No One Half, Inuyasha, and many other works, each a beloved universe unto itself, brimming with outlandish situations and fascinating characters. Here, we take a look at the life and art of the mind that gives rise to them. The creative genius behind the aforementioned works entered the world on October 10th of 1957 in Niigata Prefecture, Japan. Prolific manga artist Rumiko Takahashi originally got her start, she says, by doodling. In her third year of university, after studying manga creation under crying Freeman creator Kraso Kuike, she placed highly in a competition held by publisher Shogakugan in 1978 with the story Kate no Yatsura. Later that same year, she launched her first major series, Usura Yatsura, and she's still active today. In the four and a half decades since, she's had a plethora of manga published, some of which have gone on to become live-action films or animated series, and won numerous awards. According to interviews given in 1985 and 1986, she often starts stories by dueling, she says, and doesn't always have an idea of where the drawings will lead. When asked where her ideas come from, she stated that usually she has a meeting with her editor and just hums and doodles and sees what he laughs at. Once the initial idea phase is complete, though, her work style shifts. For one or two days, she said in a 1987 interview, I sit at the table looking dazed. In my mind, I'm thinking about how I will draw the stories we discussed. The truth is that I am able to draw a storyboard in half a day when my hand starts moving, but the path until that moment takes a long time. Further commenting, I don't feel at ease unless I draw a perfect storyboard. I get so afraid that I cannot draw. The cultural impact of her work continues to be felt throughout the world, with publication of translated versions worldwide and many comic artists and animators citing her work as inspiration. To aspiring artists, she gives the following advice. Doodle your heart out. This is the quickest way to mastering the art. An artist's style can change over time as the artist tells different stories, they mature, and they practice their craft. Takahashi-sensei is no exception. Here are three examples of her work. The first is a panel of the characters Loom, Ataru, and Shinobu from Usure Yatsura. This drawing was made very early in her career. The second piece is taken from about halfway through Ranma's run. And this one is taken from fairly far into Kyokai no Rine. When carefully examining and hand copying an artist's work, we can look for elements or patterns that make the artist's work appealing and easier to engage with. Looking at this image of girl type Ranma, here's what I was able to identify. And here's a time lapse of me trying to mimic it. <laughs> <laughs> 